It's the Eagles and Packers from Lambeau Field on Thursday night football. It's a huge game. Eagles trying to even their record at 2-2, two two, while Green Bay looks to improve to 4-0 for the first time since the 2007 season. And you can bet on this game with Fox Bet. It's one of the leading sportsbook apps in both New Jersey and Pennsylvania over the last few weeks, and they have you completely covered ahead of this game. 39 different custom bets. You can grab Carson Wentz to throw for over 300 yards, Miles Sanders to rush for 100 yards, and Zach Zach Ertz to go over 100 yards receiving with a plus 3,000 payout. There is also a Carson Wentz to throw for a touchdown at a plus 100 odds payout. That seems like a pretty good bet. Zach Ertz to score a touchdown booster from plus 125 to plus 175. $20 when you sign up with Fox Bet right off the bat, and they will match your initial deposit up to $100. If you are interested in signing up, head over to CrossingBroad.com. Check out our Fox Bet page. Also, be sure to check out our full betting preview ahead of the Eagles and Packers Thursday night showdown. You give me a rain. Before we get into all the need-to-know gambling and trend information, First, let's talk about some of the key matchups that we're going to see in this game between the Packers and Eagles. Up first, we'll talk about a Green Bay defense that has led the way for the Packers to their undefeated start. Now, typically when we think about Green Bay and a successful Packers team, it's usually all about the offense led by Aaron Rodgers slinging it all over the field. But really, defense has stolen the spotlight for this team in the early going. The Packers are tied for second in the NFL with 12 sacks, and they have the fifth most quarterback hits with 23. Zedarius Smith and Preston Smith have combined for a total of seven and a half sacks, and the Packers racked up six sacks a week ago against the Denver Broncos. And I got to be honest with you, the Eagles really do have their work cut out for them in this football game. Packers are only allowing 35 points through three weeks, less than 12 points per game, and they lead the NFL in takeaways. And more than that, they've been absolutely stingy in the red zone. Posing quarterbacks this season through three games have a 0.0 red zone passer rating, and they've completed only two of 10 pass attempts. In fact, they have tw as many interceptions as completions allowed inside the red zone this season. And so this Packers defense is going to present quite a challenge for the Eagles and an offense that has really struggled to catch the ball on a consistent basis. J.J. Arthega, Whiteside, Matt Collins with a couple key drops, some crucial offensive pass interference penalties a week ago against the Lions. Turnover Miles Sanders, Nelson Aguilar with a couple back-breaking turnovers a week ago, and then obviously dating back to the Atlanta game, the Aguilar key drop in the fourth quarter. So the Eagles are going to have to go into a difficult environment on Thursday night and play a much more crisp brand of offensive football than they've played throughout the first three weeks of the season if they want to escape Lambeau with a win to even their record at 2-2. Two two. On the other side of the ball, the Eagles have really struggled to generate quarterback pressure. Only two sacks so far through three games. Defense of ends have been held sackless. That is a problem that's going to need to be rectified going up against Aaron Rodgers, a quarterback who has over a 110 passer rating, 10 touchdowns, and no interceptions in his last four Thursday night football games. So let's talk about some of the key details that you need to know with the Packers offense going up against the Eagles defense. Amazingly, despite a 3-0 start, the Packers enter this game having scored only 19.3 points per game this season. That's 24th in the NFL, and they're averaging only 286.7 yards per game, 28th in the NFL. Pretty crazy when you consider that Green Bay historically, specifically with Aaron Rodgers under center, is one of the most elite offenses in all of the league, but they have really struggled both through the air and on the ground this season to establish anything. Packers also rushing for under 100 yards per game and averaging only 3.4 yards per carry. So the Eagles defense may not be up against the typical elite offense that we're accustomed to seeing out of Packers teams. So that's a look at some of the key information in the backdrop ahead of this one. So now where is the money going? Eagles are currently a four point underdog at Fox Bet. Over under is set at 46. And as you might expect, there are some trends strongly backing a play on the Eagles as well as some information out there that we've seen from a historical standpoint that suggests the Packers are the right play. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we start with is that the Eagles just haven't been a good cover team this season. They're 0-3 ATS. Meanwhile, the Packers are 3-0 against the spread. In fact, the Eagles' struggles in September are covering the number date back to last season. They've dropped six consecutive games against the number, and that's a big problem ahead of this one. 
Also consider that teams that have failed to cover in their first three games, playing teams that have covered their first three games, like we're seeing in this one, are 0-4-1 ATS overall and 0-2-1 against the spread as the road team. So when you're thinking, oh, eventually something's got to give, it's actually the team that has struggled to cover in this situation that has more problems heading into that fourth game. So the law of averages does not apply here. Also consider Doug Peterson is one in five against the spread when a road underdog of between three and a half to seven points throughout his career. And home favorites that have won three straight, straight games are 19 and 10 against the spread in prime time games and eight and two ATS when favored between exactly three and five points as the Packers are in this game. A little bit more information working in favor of the Packers. They are 9-2 against the spread with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback as a favorite on a three-game winning streak and a perfect 6-0 at Lambeau Field as a favorite on a three-game winning streak. That is going to be a difficult trend for the Eagles to buck. And one more thing that supports the play on Green Bay, the Packers are 15-6-1 against the spread when Aaron Rodgers starts as a home favorite in prime time games and 7-1-1 ATS when favored between exactly four and seven points. So Aaron Rodgers has been absolute cash when he has been in this spot. Now, that being said, it's not all bad news for Eagles fans. There are some trends out there supporting a play on a desperate team in this situation. So let's take a look at that. Road underdogs coming off of two consecutive losses as the Eagles are ahead of this game with a winning percentage between 300 and 350. Eagles are one and two, so they have a 330 win percentage. Going up against undefeated teams are 26, 17, and three against the spread. That's a 60.5% cover rate. And when you get up into that 60% range with a sample size that's over 40 games, that's a trend that we have to look at and respect. Also consider that teams that have failed to cover in three straight games against teams that have covered in three straight games dating back to the 2003 season are 12, eight, and two against the spread. Again, you're looking at a 22 game sample here with a 60% hit rate. So that's something to feel pretty good about. Also consider that road underdogs between four and five and a half points that have failed to cover in three straight games are 12 and five against the spread since October of 2003. And even though Doug Peterson has struggled as a road underdog in this point range, He's also 4-0 against the spread in Thursday night games. And one final thing supporting a play on the Eagles. Doug Peterson's Eagles are 7-2 against the spread as an underdog against teams averaging less than 3.5 yards per carry. Keep in mind the Packers averaging 3.4 yards per carry ahead of this one. And 5-0 against the spread when facing teams averaging less than 3.5 yards per rush and 90 total rushing yards per game. All right, so what's the play here? I gotta be honest with you, when this line first came out, I was expecting it to be up in the five to six point range. There are a couple things that jump out at me here. First of all, Green Bay's offensive numbers are just not what you would expect, quite frankly. They're in the bottom third in the league in terms of total passing yards per game, rushing yards per game, total offense, points scored. It's not the typical Green Bay Packers offense that we're accustomed to seeing. And when I look at this, even though there are some strong trends supporting play on the Packers, the Eagles are a desperate team. We're talking about a squad that three weeks ago was one of the favorites to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. I don't know that they go into Green Bay and win this game outright. I think it's entirely possible, but if you're going to give me the Eagles with four points, more than a field goal, they're getting healthier, they're desperate, they're a seasoned team that's played in plenty of big games, both in prime time in front of a national audience and on the road, I'm going to take this experienced Eagles team to rally and keep it close. And I will say that the Eagles cover the four point spread that we currently see at Fox Bet. So I'll take the Eagles in this one, at least against the spread. If you want more information on the Eagles Packers Thursday night game, as well as information on sports betting in both PA and in New Jersey, head over to crossingbroad.com.